What's happening? Uh, this my boy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hold up. What the heck? They got these new bugs out here. <laughs> Let's talk about that real quick. <laughs> the heck, bro? They just crawled all up on my on my shoe. Anyway, we about to talk wrestling. I'm about to talk wrestling with my boy Josiah and Larry, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't got no name for my show yet, so. Uh, we just got the little warm-up thing popping off right now, but this is about to be really intriguing. We got 15 questions that we about to talk about, you know what I'm saying? And I'm going to let Josiah start it off because Josiah be having all the questions and me and Larry be going against him all the time because he just be talking. To <laughs> so we about to see what's up. I had to make sure I had it on. I had to make sure I had it on camera this time. He be yeah, wild. Sure. Yeah, he be wild. Yeah, he bro, be wild. I do be wild. <laughs> <laughs> I do a mix, bro. I'm just, I'm just being me, feel me? I'm just being me, bro. I, I love being me, feel me? Um, Yeah, basically, it's, it's like a shoot the question Saturday thing. You know what I'm saying? Going on here, we got, you feel me? So, uh, the question I want to ask first is what got us into pro wrestling as a kid? Oh, uh, I'm going to see. seeing an Undertaker pop up out of cash kits and stuff. <laughs> that's, a, that's real. That's real. Now, now when, I, when, I first, when I first got into wrestling, my grandfather took me over to one of his homies' crib. Uh, it was like after church. It was Royal Rumble. It was the first it was the first pay per view. I forget what year it was, but I was probably like nine or ten years old. And uh, he took us over there, and we had pizza, wings, chips. But he always was taking us over there to watch wrestling, and we used to go. And that's when. It was the solid four. It was Survivor Series, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, and SummerSlam. That was the only mm -hmm. four that was really popping. The so we used to four. always go over there. This was back when wrestling pay-per-views was $79 a pop. Her, his dude used to get them all that's the time. True. So that's how I got That's how I got hip to wrestling. And then after I got hip to wrestling, um, my mom uh, tapped in with it because she seen that grandfather which is her dad got his tip to it so her favorite wrestler became bret hart and then after that bro we was just tapped in for wrestling yeah, for the longest yeah bret the hitman hart was her dude my sister's favorite wrestler was the undertaker uh, mm, yeah sure. i don't know who i don't know i i think my favorite wrestler at the time was between uh it was between ultimate warrior and macho man Cause I had a, but I, I had a wrestling buddy, and the wrestling buddy was a million dollar man. Cause they didn't, have, <laughs> they didn't have no uh wrestle, they didn't have no Ultimate Warriors or Macho Man's for sale. All of them sold out, so I had to get the million dollar man one. But I had that joint, the wrestling buddy. That joint was lit. Yeah, Seth Rollins even had one. It showed him when he was a little kid. He's had he had Hogan. I think anywhere at things, matter of fact. Yeah, bro. Yeah, them wrestling buddies was lit, bro. Yeah, bro. If I find one on eBay, I'm gonna buy one. Shoot. <laughs> right. <Facts. laughs> I feel that. What about you, Larry? Or Swoop? King Swoop? Or King Swoop? King Swoop! King Swoop! Uh, you gonna say my or love? <laughs> we can't confuse people here. Right, you're right. You're right. You're right. Now you can go with the stage name, or you can, or you can, or you can go with my real name. <laughs> we gotta pick one. We gotta pick one. All right, we gonna call you Swoop for today. Well, we're gonna get swoop on the screen. We're gonna do swoop. <laughs> we're going for swoop. Hello. Swoop. Hey. That's the one. 
Yeah, we're gonna go swoop on the screen. So, um, I ain't gonna lie, just seeing Under Undertaker pop up out of out of nowhere when the lights cut off. Yeah. And he just appear in the ring and and, yeah. and people's eyes get all get all big and they, yeah. they be scared. Especially when Randy Orton when Randy Orton was shooting with the Undertaker. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. remember the scene remember the scene where, where Undertaker where, um Randy Orton was in the ring with his dad. And yeah. Out of nowhere, the lights cut off. Oh, yeah. They start playing under oh, yeah. music, and, and, and Randy Orton got so scared. With the blue smoke and everything? That. that was a minute ago. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Great feud, by the way, between Taker and Randy. I don't think that gets a lot of credit for how great the feud was. Seriously. That feud was fire. Yeah. Okay, that's what, what, I don't know if that created the legend killer, but that's when around that time. Like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, I would say... Go ahead, BZ. No, I just said, no, that's crazy. Go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say, like, uh, for me, I was roughly five years old. I had to be turning six prior a very, very soon or something like that. I was riding my bike. I was outside. And I was riding on the sidewalk. My mom was be like, oh, he's riding on the sidewalk. Don't want to ride around the street. You get yourself hurt. I said, okay, cool. So I got distracted momentarily, fell, hurt my elbow, cried like a baby. You would have laughed at me. I understand. I would laugh at myself, too, back then. Um, so head back home, make a long story short. We basically, we, we had basic television. We didn't have no cable around this time, uh, at least yet. And so my mom, which had calmed me down, she the rage, turn on the TV. It's a CW. The first thing I see is the Undertaker. And he comes out this big, large, like, you know, white man with a black trench coat that's coming out, dang on, like smoke. And I'm me like like I'm 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 almost like terrified, but then I go, mm -hmm. oh, he, ain't that, he ain't that scary like that. But I can see why he'd be intimidated for real. Yeah. But what yeah. scared me is them showing promo packages of like what happened on, on that I guess around that time that year's Raw, and Umaga came out. He's beat up Shaman Man, and they was on that feud with, with Bobby Lashley and Donald Trump around that time. So Umaga came around and he beat up Bobby Lashley and Shaman McMahon and scared the daylights out of me. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, as time went on, as I got older, I just got myself re immersed into it. Um, fast forward, some years go by, I get re hooked into Jeff Hardy and everything that he was doing, and the rest is history. Yo, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. I got a quick question before you ask the next question. Which Undertaker you think was scarier? The first one, I mean, early when he first came out, or the one later? I think the one when he first came out was more scarier. Honest, for me, the one that came out later because I came up around that time. So the one that came oh, before, yeah. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? The one that came before wasn't like as scary because you got to think the takers, personally for me, his overall trench coat and the way he wore it back. I like, like, and just say, your, your, um, why, why, why are you muted, bro? Yeah, you mute. That man went straight to mute. Whatever you were saying, you was lying. That was like, no, nope, we ain't hearing it. <laughs> Hold on, can y'all hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Go ahead. <laughs> What's going on, bro? Hold on, man. Jeez. Hold on, bro. I'm mad because I was I was on the road, bro. <laughs> I was on the road, man. Yeah, you must definitely was. You feel me? Like, dang. So, as I was saying, I think because of the taker that came a little bit later. I think it was so much of, uh, for one, he had the tattoos. He had yeah. The tattoos. And the tattoos look nice. Yeah, then he started he start using using the makeup and started yeah. actually bringing it out more. Yeah. And you could really, he really see give you that terrified look. Like the whiteness and stuff. Yeah, like he, he really gave you that, that terrifying look. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yes, he freaking does. That's, yeah, the, I, yeah. that's the reason why for me. Bro, when he first came into WWE and he had the gray gloves and all that, bro, he really wasn't doing nothing unless Paul Bear was making him move. Like, bro, that junk was different, bro. Oh, yeah, with the urn. That junk was different, bro. Like, with, yep, the, the, with the urn when he first came, bro, and it was like from Death Valley type deal when he was walking mad slow and all that, bro. Like, there was the fans, the fans were hey. way scarier than what they know now. Like, That's now a, they I'm like, not, okay, I'm, yeah, but back hey. then. This is a fact. What was up, bro? It was up. Hey. Hey. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm kind of sorry that we never got to see 
Hey, Paul Bearer and, and Paul Heyman, Heyman on yeah, for yourself on tough. the mic. That would have been tough. That would have been tough. That would be crazy. That would have been tough, for real. That would have been that tough. Be bro. That would have been Same. tough. I, I, I think Paul Heyman would have cooked him. I think he would have, too. I don't think oh, nobody, absolutely. I don't think absolutely. nobody could really fool with Paul Heyman on that mic, though. As far as man, Paul Bear was more of a, of a character. He was he was he was a story to Paul. What Heyman. you call it? What you call it? I ain't gonna hold you. Uh, Bobby the Brain might give him smoke. He might give him smoke. That's he true. Might, too. He might give this him smoke though. This Bobby is the Brain is nice. Bobby the Brain was nice. R.I.P. Yep. Yeah, Bobby the Brain was nice. So what's your question, man? Uh, before, 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 um. I, I say say another say another ask another question. Can we take a moment and silent a silence for the wild Samoans? For the what? The wild, wild Samoans. Oh wow! Not fun seeking man. Passed away in the same year. Crazy man. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro. That was like what? That was that's Roman dad, right? She could pass was away. Roman dad. He passed away yeah, first. Yeah. Yeah, he passed away first. Somebody else has passed. Yeah, um, his his brother, um, Alpha. You know, it's Alpha oh. and Sika. Oh, wow. dang! When was that? Today? Nah, um, oh, like last month. month. Dang. Sika passed away. What? June, July? Yeah, when Roman was. Born. Um, Sika pa passed away. In, passed away in June. Yeah, that's what I figured. Dang. Right oh, before SummerSlam. That's out here dropping. That's out here dropping, bro. Mm. Yeah, but uh, my question is, Josiah, who you, who you, who you think is the, the next the, the next member for the uh for Roman Reigns' bloodline? For Roman's bloodline, that's a good question because I don't know. That's a, <laughs> that's, a that's a really good question. For uh, Roman's bloodline. Roman, because we, because we we know for sure it's either it's either Jimmy and Jay, but we don't know who who else coming. Mm. Okay. All right, all right. I'll throw you in one. I'm gonna hot shot one. This 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 answer for sure, but but because because we don't know for sure where it's gonna be confirmation that this will happen. But I'm gonna mm. just you know shoot my shot with this. I'm gonna say. Zilla Fatu. I can see Zilla come in and, and be a part of Roman's bloodline. The, okay. The Zilla, Zilla, Zilla. I, I thought that at first, but but Zilla said said he's he's more he he acknowledges um Solo, and he says he says when he, he wants to he wants to be with um Jacob. Because <laughs> you know him and Jacob. No, and, him and, and Jacob was um. Uh, him and Jacob was a tag team in the um in the Indies. Oh, so he say he say he wants to be re reunited with um Jacob. My my answer to that for Roman's bloodline is Jacob Fatu. I was gonna say Jacob, but then I but, but I figure Saul probably might want to stay there some more, but I don't know. But yeah, Fatu. Nah. He's y'all was talking about it a lot. Y'all was talking about it months ago. Like yo, like a too, whatever. I didn't think he was gonna change. I didn't think he was gonna trade on him or nothing like that. But the way Solo been treating him and stuff like that, I got a feeling he gonna flip. So I think Roman is about to. Yeah, I think Roman about to get him. And the dude y'all just mentioned, I think he is really about to be with Solo. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of crazy, but yeah, because Jacob been holding it now, down. Uh, but he's going for me. He's going it down too. Crazy. I think Lance. I'm going with I'm gonna go go with Lance. Okay. Lance, Lance is not a bad pick. Lance is not a bad pick at all. Okay. No, because yeah. he's been he been killing it on the end of, on the independent scene. Is Lance uh, uh um officer? Mm -mm, um no. His his dad his dad is Lloyd. By the way, that question that question don't count. I, I just want to throw that in there. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but no, his his dad his his dad is uh is Lloyd. They used to call him L.A. Smooth. 
That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah, I heard about him. Yep, loyal. I don't know why. It's a lot of them, of them, of them bloodline members, bro. I'm trying to tell you. We be talking about it all day. Offer son is um Offer Junior. Okay, that's why I figured. The one, yeah, yeah, the one that used to roll with Cody and them. That's Samu. He was Samu, right? Yeah, that's right. Yep, Samu. Yeah, he didn't go no far, but I heard he's gonna do a podcast very soon with somebody from Sports Kita, so that's gonna be pretty cool to hear about the fact that they yeah, he, um, so he 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 runs um a, a, um what you call it what you call it like a wrestling company like training wrestlers and stuff. Okay. I got you. Now you've been talking a lot of crap in the interviews, talking about some. Uh, he, he's the he's the other head of the table. He said one Marine sits at one end, and he sits at the other, just like the Washington Moments did it. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. Who in the WWE right now has the best entrance? Jay Uso. Uh, I gotta say, Jay Uso, because he gets you turned. That boy gets you turned. Jay, Jay, Jay Uso's intro, intro is freaking crazy. It is. I, crazy. I, I, I'm not picking that one though, but Jay Uso's intro is is either three, two or three, easy, two or three. But I, I gotta I gotta go with Seth Rollins, bro. I gotta go with Seth Rollins. Okay. I gotta go with Seth. This is my order. This is my top three. Seth Rollins. Rhea Ripley for WrestleMania and Jay Uso. Mm. Is my top three. Is your top three? Yeah, they're my top three. I used to like uh I used to like Jay Carhill's joint, but it get interrupted with Bianca's joint. That jump whacked me. It's whack. Salute to them, but nah, I'm good. But when mm. Rhea Ripley did that intro on at WrestleMania, that jump was come on, bro. When she was the bet bro with the band and all that, bro, that was that was crazy. Oh, and 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 my sleeper, my number four is um uh Shinsuke with the violin joint. Come on, bro. Oh Shinsuke. Oh, yeah, Shinsuke. It's cold. easy, he can easily be number one. Uh, he can easily be number one. When he first came from right. went, bro, what bro, that junk was fire. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. So true. yeah. Oh, so, all right. Man. All right. That's it. That violin joint is crazy. And I just sampled that too. I'm about to rap on it. I just sampled the oh, oh whoa, wait till you hear this beat. Oh, oh my god, bro. I'm out, I'm on crack right now. Literally. Uh, I'm on so okay. So for me, I I I, I would love to say the YS six. I would love to say the YS six so so bad. Because I be what I love about their I, interest is that it, it 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 reminds me of some sort of what Bray Wyatt used to do. But it's like so many different members. So and and then it's the way. First of all, shout out to Bo Dallas. He's he's been killing killing that Uncle Howdy role. He's been killing it. I'm a big fan of Wyatt System. Big fan of him, what Duddy has produced with them and how Duddy is really like making them work very so well. So it's it's crazy how 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 all of them just work. Um, but I'm gonna go with and just y'all probably agree with this, but it's fine. I don't care. I'm gonna go with Ellie Knight. I I I love when Ellie Knight's music hits. The moment his music hits. And that crowd is like they they they're up, you know they're up. It reminds me of like when where if Steve Austin music music will hit, you know the crowd will go crazy. Rock music will hit, the crowd will go crazy. Elliot Knight got that kind of like same feel, and he comes out the entrance and he's just walking with so much like bravado and confidence. That's what, that's for me. That's for me. I think Elliot Knight. Yeah, please swoop. If you don't get your man's, you tried to put L.A. Knight's intro on the same as Stone Cold Steve Austin, bro. No, I'm not saying it's that what on you the same. I'm saying, I'm saying it's, it, it reminds me oh. of that. I, yeah, I ain't saying it was. Oh, that. I was about to say, like, bro. No. Yeah, I'll I, break I, some I, glass I, right I, now. I, I'll break some glass right now because it go crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I get those. No, shoot, but we're Stone Cold. Me, it's Jay because Jay, Jay's gets you turned. Yeah, Jake is U-turn, you know, but Jay, I don't, I don't think it's the best interest. It's just, I mean, the, the crowd was... Jake be in the crowd, too. Jake be in the crowd, too, though. That's different. Hey, Jay be hey, in the crowd, too, though. That, that boy, Jake, Jay got people at the club doing it. They playing his Bro, entrance they, in the club. They be, everybody eating. Jay, 
bro, Jay Uso be coming in from the crowd too. That joint hit different, bro. It did that, that hit different, bro. The shield did it first. Yeah, he up there. Okay. Up there. The shield he did it there. first. Shield did do it first. Stop, they did. <laughs> they did. They did. But yeah, Jay made it. Yeah. Oh, that okay. Well, that's my hey. question. Who's was better? Jay Uso's hey, the shield. Easy. And that, that boy Jay been getting a little bit buffed for two. He done yeah, put on I a lot of weight. I seen him getting bigger. He got to, man. He got to. He better. He got to, to man. Got to get that championship run going. He about to get that belt and go crazy. To your, to your yeah, I, I like how they, how they put him with, um, with Brian Breaker. Since, I you know, um, Brian, about to win that. Brian Breaker and his, and his and Brian Breaker's father and his father got history. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so I like how they did that. I'm gonna go your know, question about the shield or or Jay Uso. I'm gonna go with the shield. It, it, that, at that, that point in time, the shield was one of the most popular things though that he had. They were, they were one of the most, uh, a monster, most popular ass for sure. The moment you know the shield came out, you, you knew they, they they meant business. You knew that whoever was in that ring had to get out because the moment Roman, Seth, and Dean circle around that ring. Grab them ropes, and you didn't know where to go, but you try to fight who won mm -hmm. and they start like packing you up and packing you up, and then triple power bomb you outside the tape. Like, come on, man, we'd be here all day, bro. The I mean, awesome. yeah, I, I mean, was they was they was they the best at coming in the ring like that though? What coming to the ring? I mean, when you talking about when you talking about circling. That's my question. When you talk about circling yeah. around the ring and coming in to dump people, were they the best doing it? As opposed to who? I'm, I'm just saying. It's a lot of people who did it. I'm saying the Nexus. They the ones. They the did, Nexus yeah, changed right. the game. They was like 10 deep. That's if true. it ain't the Nexus, it's NWO. If it ain't the that, Nexus, it's NWO. When they circled okay. that ring, yeah. it was more smoke. I'm in agreement with you, BZ, but, I, but I, think, I think the reason why I don't put the, the Nexus over above the shield is because WWE kind of mishandled the Nexus. They they were they were built up strong, but then they floundered within the, within the whole entire year. The shield kept, kept looking strong. And then it don't help much when you have Seth, Roman, and Dean all become world champion around the same exact time on top of that. Nobody came, nobody became world champion out, um, outside of the, of the Nexus, for real, for real. At all, yeah, nobody, nobody I don't think they, don't think they were supposed to. I don't think they were supposed to. Okay, they were just supposed to just come in and take over. Hmm. Okay, the skills are over yeah, the whole I, I, industry. I, I, you said what? I said the shields took over the whole rest of the industry. It was crazy. They definitely did. But did, yeah, I, I, I ain't gonna ask no more. Go ahead, Josiah, because I was about to say, did they take over more than NWO, though? <laughs> oh. like the end of, I don't know, bro. Like the, I, I, I got to put the shield over everybody because they only had three. Mm. But as far as impact, bro, the NWO changed everything. Okay. I agree. No, absolutely. I agree. NWO I changed yeah, NWO changed everything. Like, think about it. They even talk about the cops out here in the U.S. right now being under the new world order. The, under, the WWE, they did that. WCW, the NWO, they did that job first. Now, all of a sudden, they talking about, yeah, they're trying to have a one world order. Where they think they got it from? Mm. Yeah, yeah, they did that job first. That mug impacted the world. This is true. No, absolutely. I think... But, the, but, the, but comparing the shift to the NWO is kind of not necessarily fair <laughs> because you had, although, yes, it was Hogan, it was Hogan, Hall, and Nash, but then you also had to, had to include like all the other members. That's what Bullet Club is right now. Bullet Club is, is essentially NWO now. The Shield was kind of like, it was three guys that we all three, the, all three of them set each other apart from, from how different they are. But they, but they had mm -hmm. kind of, that was to bring forth justice, yep. even if it was a means of like not looking the greatest form of justice, they did what they had to do and they fought everybody. It didn't matter who you was. You could be Batista, yep. Big Show, Brock, yeah. it don't matter. The shit yeah. was gonna come after you. Everybody went through them. Everybody went yeah. to the table. Everybody. Everybody went to the table. <laughs> that's a that's a fact. Everybody it matter. 
man. Everybody he was the craziest. Seth was the architect. He he brought them together, and Roman was the heavy. And when Roman came in there, if Roman was in that ring beside Seth and Dean, you could get out the way. <laughs> like, that's what I was. Roman even time. He was just he was just spearing people out of nowhere. And that's why I was so upset with cats when they were trying to say Roman wasn't ready. I'm like, what you mean he ain't ready? What you talking about? Yeah. You know, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that they waited because Roman is much bigger than, than 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 what he was before. Absolutely. Way bigger. Absolutely. But Roman the fact that they made him made him leave for so long just to have everybody miss him, to realize that they miss him and need him. Roman Ten Reigns years, is a household bro. name, bro. Ten this years, man, man is on freaking tonight. This man is on tonight shows with no belt. Normally, people who got the belt be on TV shows. He's him. This man don't even got the belt, and he on TV shows. Like, come on, bro. Roman Reigns is him, bro. Him. But go ahead. What's the next question? Now, I'm two. Roman versus The Rock will go down in history. It will. Absolutely. It's going to be better than our whole rock mess. <laughs> All right, Swoop. Go oh, ahead and ask your question. Right now, question now uh, this is not really a question, but am I the only one that, that, that thinks that the, the judgment day is a little bit corny now? They've been corny since... Uh, they've been... Uh, Mm, let me think. I know they've been I, corny since they've been increasing them, during, but I think it was a little bit. You said what? what? During the time when they had Edge, that was that's when it was corny. I'm telling you why in a minute. What? I didn't think when they, when Edge when Edge started it, I don't think it was. Corny. I think it got corny when Edge it left. It wasn't Edge when Edge left. It wasn't Edge. It, listen, the, the reason why I say this is because. They were trying to, they were trying, this, this man wanted to make uh, essentially what AEW, what, what AEW had, had produced on, on their show, the AEW had the House of Black. And the House of Black was known for having this dark, supernatural kind of like gimmick. And Vince figured I could bring that forward towards WWE by bringing in Ed, Jimmy and Priest, Rhea Ripley, Finn Balor, whoever else, so on and so forth. So he wanted to do that. Yeah. And, and, and the problem with that was, because if y'all remember, Cody got hurt. So Cody got hurt. They needed another baby face. That's why they ended up turning on Edge and, and having Judgment Day on did, did what, they, what they did with him because they, they needed another like strong, like good guy and whatever have you. This is what came out as far as reports. So that happened. And I think it was corny, not because of Edge, but because of the way they was they were trying to like book it as they want to make it very supernatural s. And then, but then I think what got cool have... for me. Go ahead. It would have worked if it was just Rhea Ripley, Damian Priest, and Finn Balor, and Finn Balor kept his demon his demon persona, and there wasn't all this, yep. you know, talking. Right. Like, yep. You guys are gonna be a dominant group? What that, what that, are what are we showing you guys talking all the time? We want we want you to be mysterious. So that that's that's fine, Larry. The problem with that is they should have never had implemented Edge in there because Edge was already over for what he for what he was already doing. Like even when right. they had him turn, like oh, eventually when, when they had him turn against AJ Styles, they did that thing where he kicked AJ Styles in his groin area and then he hit the concerto on AJ. That was that felt very forced and rushed. It was almost like WWE was saying we can't have Edge and AJ Styles go at it, you know, just by being themselves. We need to have Edge uh, force him to be a heel, and fans just weren't buying him. Nobody was trying to boo Edge around the time at all. It's like Dodie was trying to say, we're going to force Edge to be a heel, and everyone was like, no, he just came back after the injury. We don't, don't want to boo right now. <laughs> like, what y'all doing? And then Finn Bell, so, so to your point, Larry, I get what you're saying, but it would work better if you just had Finn, Rhea, Daniel for the, from the start, just all three of them. Edge didn't need to be included. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying. Then he, Dominant need to be didn't need to be included either. If that's, that's, case, that's, that's true. This is true. If they was going to go, go the whole entire direction with that being supernatural s, but the thing that what they oh, end up yeah. right, but what they turn it in, into eventually was okay. No, we're gonna make them street like like a game thug style. 
So yeah. like if we got to rep our crew, do our thing, blah, blah, blah. If you can come around way, prepare to, you know, meet your end essentially. Right. That's that's what they they they, they shift the, the overall gimmicks uh character representation from supernatural to street crew, basically. Right. That's what I'm saying. Okay. But I don't think I don't I don't necessarily think it was uh, what they're doing is corny. I think it, it, it works for me. I don't I don't feel like it's corny. That's just that's just me though. Okay. Next uh, no. Now for my, um, my, my question. Who do you see Seth Rollins feuding with until WrestleMania? Hold on, what'd you say? Ooh. Who do you see Seth Rollins building a feud or a storyline with until WrestleMania? I'm going with Roman. Nope. <laughs> mm. Nah. That would be nice. Uh, just say, just say, if you say running, you gotta explain it. Yeah, I don't see I, that. Wrong. I will, but I'm gonna be. I already, I already, have, I already have explained to you guys about why. You mean you have, you have already talked about this too, Scoop? I mean, you, you gotta explain, you gotta this explain is for the for world. The people, this is coming out for the world tomorrow. I mean, this Come is coming on. out for the world. You talking to the people right now? So tell them why. For they could look at you and be like, "Bro, you crazy." <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. So, so, so this year, uh, we celebrated 40 years of WrestleMania. Right. Uh -huh. um, during the finish of the main event between Rock and, and, and not Rock and Cody, Roman and Cody. Uh, speaking of which, Rock and Cody might have an issue. Really? But anyways, that's just me. Uh, so, Roman, there was a spot in the match where um, Seth Rollins like, obviously came out to help Cody at Rose when, you know, win in the Bloodline Rules match. And right. Seth got, you know, taken out early. He hurt himself. Boom, boom, boom. Roman had the steel chair in his hand. But instead of hitting the steel chair onto Cody, he had to hit the steel chair onto Seth Rollins. Because if you remember, 10 years ago, or 10 years prior, um, Seth Rollins betrayed him and Dean Ambrose and, and left the shield. And Roman, and, and essentially, the story has been told that Seth has kind of made Roman Reigns where he was. Seth Rollins implemented a, a bit of a seed to, to plan for Roman Reigns to become the Tribal Chief character and hold his own together and be of rule, basically. So he didn't let go of his hatred. He didn't let go of his resentment, his grudge of what Seth Rollins had did by betraying him. Thus, it felt very sweet for him to go around and hit the steel chair on towards Seth Rollins. So if they want to ever do the storyline, mind you, again, Roman Reigns is not drafted. So that made, and that's another thing, too. People are forgetting. Roman isn't drafted. So if Roman and, and Seth can make it out of a story, it could be based around them trying to iron out some kinks, some, is, some issues that, that are still there where there's resentment, there's hatred, and brothers need to fight it out, essentially. So I figure why not get it? Done by next year if we're not gonna get Rock versus Roman, and if Rock is gonna face Cody, it makes all the more sense in the world because what else does Seth Rollins gotta do on or, or, or WrestleMania? What else does Roman Reigns gotta do at WrestleMania? He fight solo. That's, that's, what, that's, that's who WrestleMania. That's who Roman Reigns gotta fight at WrestleMania solo. What are you okay. talking? Jesus, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just say it would work. He wanted so if bad. they brought Roman back <laughs> as a deal. He but now he's so a baby bad, face. Man. Mm -hmm. And Seth Rollins a baby face. Yeah, it's not working, bro. How would you, how would you how would you work that? Seth Unless you bring Seth Rollins well, back as a heel. What we said is what we said is on um about a week ago when we talked about how Roman Reigns is not necessarily the quote unquote clear cut baby face. It's not he's not a clean cut baby face at all. He's like he's what? more like an anti hero. This is what this is what this is what he said. You said this. Yeah, first, I, I, I said that at first, but no, Roman from, from the way that they're doing things, right from the way that they're doing things, he's he's a clear coat baby face. Otherwise, he would attack Cody and and attack attack um Solo. Okay. Yeah, it's clear. It's clear right now. I don't know. I I Seth Rollins. I need that Seth Rollins to see him Punk. I need that. Plus, I, 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 I agree. I, I agree. I, I, I will say. Plus, I, the only reason why I'm saying this too is because Roman Reigns hasn't definitively beat Seth Rollins like that. That's that's, that's just me. He's never pinned him once, once three. He has not. 
I don't know why the other day he has booked it that way, but for the longest time, he's beating everybody else. He hasn't pinned Seth Rollins with three. I mean, but the but you got to think about it. Like I, like I always been saying, Seth Rollins has been running Raw, and Roman Reigns have been running SmackDown. So they ain't even had no time to actually go against each other in the first place. That's why. Or he would have been fought him. I think he would have been fought him if they was on the same show. It's just at the time the WWE was being on the back of Seth Rollins and uh Roman Reigns. So they couldn't they couldn't put them on the same show because if you put Roman on SmackDown, I mean if you put Roman on Raw with Seth, then who's running SmackDown? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like they might um... They might be able to develop some things now when you got Gunther and stuff like that. So now you can fool around with Roman and put him wherever that he fit. Because at this point, Roman is just going to be on Netflix, period. It don't matter what's going on. He's on Netflix. That's it. So, okay. yeah. I don't know. You got any more thoughts, bro? Yeah, because because Gunther, Gunther has been trying to improve himself. Yeah. He's one of them. So, so um. We could po possibly see him calling out Roman Reigns. I like it. I love that too. Him or Seth Rollins is the only two that's going to get the belt off him. Ain't nobody else getting the belt off him. But that's my question. If Roman Reigns goes after that belt that everybody keeps saying, that belt don't count. Now what? <laughs> now, now what? That's you see what I'm saying? Like, bro, come on. Uh. Hey. 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 Hey, That's Cody gonna drop his title and be like, I want that title. Yeah, if Roman goes after hey, the title, hey, that shuts up everything that people say about them titles. Hey, DZ, <laughs> watch. What's Cody up? gonna drop his title. Cody gonna drop his title and be like, I want that title. He better not. <laughs> he too. I want that title. Not. If we going off of prestige, Cody Rhodes didn't even have the one he got. Gunther should have that one. And Cody <laughs> Rhodes should have the other one. <laughs> Mm. I don't believe in none of that. That's a Raw and SmackDown title. That that's it. That's what it is. A Raw and SmackDown title. Josiah think that that that's the same belt back in the ancient times, and that by, that belt is the only belt that count. Like watch out. It's not that thing. It's that I know. <laughs> that is not the truth, bro. That is not the same belt, no, bro. Right, okay, that's my question. I'm asking Larry the question. Wait, 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 hold on, busy, hold on, busy, busy, busy. Before you ask that question, let me Man, bro. Larry, 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 don't ask the question. Let me go right here and ask mine first, and then I'll, I'll, I'll speak back to over to you right quick. Just right quick. So, my third question I have to ask is the Bloodline versus the NWO five on five elimination match. What are our picks? hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Which, 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 which members of the Bloodline? That's what I was about to say. Which members of the Bloodline? Are you you combine them. Listen, you combine it. Yep, combine. Oh, yep. Oh, yeah. NWO ain't got no chance. <laughs> NWO ain't got no chance. They, they mess with the bloodline. Ain't you no put, you put, ain't no thought. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You putting Roman, Solo, Jacob, yeah. and the when Usos saying, together? And the when, Usos. When I'm, when I'm saying all combined, I'm saying we can pick from Roman's Solo. We, we can pick it. We can pick it for however we want to do it. You can still have Roman in there. You can still have Solo in there. You can still yeah. have. He just said it. Much. He there just said bro. Jacob Solo. He just said Jacob Solo, Roman, and the Usos. Who beat that five? <laughs> they you had to bring. You had to bring back Macho Man, Ultimate Warrior. Hulk, oh, you, you were really having to get deep. <laughs> they, they running through them boys. I'm, bro, I'm sorry. Easy. They easy. running through them boys. Easy. Right it wasn't even here. close. Them, it wasn't even them, close. Hey, you, you keep for, you, you keep forget you keep forgetting the, the rumors the, the um the legends about. About the Samoans, you 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 head by the Samoan. They gonna get they gonna they gonna look at you like you crazy. Matter of fact, hold on. Warriors. Matter of fact, let me change. I'm gonna change the lineup right now. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Roman Solo, Jacob, Jay, and The Rock. That's where I'm going. I'm taking Ooh. Jimmy out. Okay. I'm putting The Rock in. Okay. Like, bro, they're not losing. It don't matter who you put on the team. You gonna need John. You gonna need Stone Cold. Hey, you gonna need hey, Stone Cold. You gonna hey. need the. Oh, you gonna need everybody. Hey. <laughs> yeah, that lineup hey, is crazy. Busy. No. Hey, that's instant kill. That's, that's instant. overkill. That's that's instant. overkill. Golly, yeah, bro. The, Ooh, you you pick hey, you put me the most. Hey, 
You putting the most dominant members of the Samoan family together. Oh my God, bro. Y'all, I know y'all watch Captain Planet. You see what them powers combine, bro? What? That's Captain Planet for real. Like, bro, what? Mm. Yeah, that ain't. Mm -mm. NWO don't even got a chance. I'm trying to think of who, even if you put the NWO Wolf Pack, it don't matter. They ain't one. It don't matter. <laughs> no smoke. You, hey, you don't want you don't you don't want no smoke, smoke with the Samoan family because soon as soon as you get that smoke, it doesn't matter who you beat. That's it's over. more of them pulling up. <laughs> it's over with. That, that was a good question, though. That was a good question. But that was yeah. an easy answer. That was an easy answer. All right, be now, oh, you're back so I'm gonna ask this question. I'm gonna ask hold, this on, question. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, just how you, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta ask the question. And we, we right, yeah, it. let me rock, let me rock, let me rock, let me rock. So, okay, so me and me and me and Josiah always be talking about the belts and the prestige of the the belt that Roman had compared to the belt that Seth Rollins had. And he keeps saying right. the belt that Roman had is way better and way got way more experience and way more everything than the one that Seth Rollins had. My question is, is yeah. that not the raw belt and what Roman got was not the um, the SmackDown belt? because And he was like, no, those belts are split up to different ways. I'm like, Bro, that's not the same belt as Hulk Hogan because when they did the brand split is when it became mm -hmm. two belts. That's when that whole history is over with, when they split the brand right. up. Right. Is that true or false? True. So why is – but Josiah keeps saying that the belt that uh Roman had is higher than what the one that had Seth had. How when it, that all got I, split I, from I, the brand I split? Say, I say it was, bet, it was better because Roman, Roman, Roman had, had them boys stacked up. He had both. He, he was he was he was he was going through top top level level superstars while while Seth is over there competing against like mid card and lower card people. Right, but at this but but what I'm saying is when the brand split happened, yeah, that's what I'm about, right? when the brand when the brand when the brand split happened, yeah. both of the belts is zero zero, correct? Because they're not the same yeah. belt no more. Yep. Yeah. Once that change the name, it's not the same. That's all I've been saying. Josiah saying that it's the same belt that Hogan and them is carrying, and I'm like, no, it's not. No, this is what I was trying to get at. So here's, here's okay. Here's what I'm trying to say. When Roman won the world title, right? When he when he came mm -hmm. back in, uh, in August of 2020, yeah, they had him go after the universe title, right? And now, mind you, the universe title had had been put out since we we, we had that title since 2016, right? 2015. So, no, 2016, because that's when Finn Balor won it, and then he, he got hurt. So it was 2016. I swear it was 2015. No, it was tw no 2015 was when Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble, and then that whole entire Brock Lesnar thing happened, and boom, boom, boom. So, uh, no, it, he, he he won. He uh, this this he won. Okay, Finn Balor won the Universal title, the first title for the Universal Championship, Championship. He won against Seth Rollins that's, at SummerSlam for 2016. Fast forward to 2020. That title has very has 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 any like you know history behind, but we know we we had Roman, we know we had Brock, we know we had Finn, Kevin, Seth, boom boom boom, whoever you 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 name it, right? We had them. What I was trying to get towards BZ to understand was WWE mm -hmm. they have to do a brand split, but then they did that thing where if you remember, this this man wants to put together the biggest WrestleMania match of all time in his own mind. And he decided, how about I have Roman and go after Brock? Because remember, Roman was supposed to wrestle at, at the WWE day one in 2022, but he got sick. He got he got COVID. So they put Brock in the uh, four way match between Big E, Seth, Bobby, and and Kevin. So they made a, a fail five way, and Brock won the WWE mm -hmm. title. Fast forward, where Roman happens, Brock loses against Bobby Lashley, but then he gets it back. Boom, boom. And all this stuff is, is all happening, right? Mm -hmm. WWE decided to go ahead and make it a tall unification match for WrestleMania back in uh, 2022, WrestleMania 38, where Steve also came back to wrestle. So right. Roman beat Brock. He combined right. both belts. So the WWE title that Brock held, that WWE title has been enriched. It's been out since 1978, something like that. So you're talking right. about Bob Backlund, Pedro Morales, Bruno right. Martin, all these guys. And Roman's a part of, of that history. When you go into the WWE, like 
uh, results of who has the longest title reigns. Roman Reigns, his name is up there. Right. So what I was trying to get easy to understand was <clears throat> Seth's world title because Seth Rollins because Beanie didn't even admit this. Beanie thought the world title that Seth Rollins held was from like WCW and all this other stuff, blah blah blah, and, and it was on Raw for the most part. No, though they decided they're going to do a new world title, and Seth Rollins was going to be the official first world champion. And I was like, why? Even I was kind of like scratching my head, like, why would y'all do that? But they because they ahead. got two brands though. They had two brands, but and and but Raw was left without a world champion. So they needed to bring another world title on there. But mind you, Roman had already had two belts. Then they decided to go right hand and combine it, making it the undisputed world title. Right. That's all that happened. But if you and combine, so, but if you yeah. combine, but if you combine a championship, that automatically defuses what it is. It's not the official championship no more. If you combining it from past to present, it's not the same thing no more. It's a whole then other why thing. They, why, why do you keep the day raised on there then? The, the combined day raised for, for each for each belt. You said what? Why keep the combined day range for each belt, and and then they haven't made a made a newer belt alongside with it, or at least keep the same belt but renaming basically. That's what I'm saying. If you keep naming, yeah. if you keep renaming championships, then it starts <laughs> over from zero. They should have just kept the belt that Hogan and them had back in the day and never changed it. They should have never unified it. They never did nothing like that. They did it. They did. It. So that's what I'm trying to say. They unified those belts. That that world title you're you're, you're talking about, BZ. They unified it with Randy Orton and John Cena. Remember the TLC match. But that's what I'm saying. That's when it messed up. You, that's that's when it's I over. I agree. I agree. So that's what. So that's what that. So that's what I'm saying. I'm like that belt when 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 Roman unified it. That's zero for me. Now for everybody else, all right, whatever. But for me, that's zero because that's not the same belt no more. You changed it. You brought. You got a whole new joint. It got new. It got new rubies in it and everything. That is not the same belt that Hogan was walking to the championship ring with. That's not the same belt that Bret Hart was carrying. That's a whole nother joint. You can't I, call it the I, same thing if somebody else had it. Right. And so, to your point, when you, when you say it like that, I wish I could firmly. I'm I'm, I'm dead serious right now. I wish I could firmly agree with you. But the way the EM and they and the the whole entire realm recognizes it. It's combined day reigns, and they're going to go right here and, mm. and say this, that, that's not a third. That's why I kept saying what I was saying. I wasn't trying to say like I disagree with you fully like that because you had you had you had some great valid points, but in their eyes, it's still combined day reigns, and we're going we're going to merge them basically. Well, then, but then, like I did, like like I said, all the heavyweights that's on Raw, it's not fair to them because they can't go after that belt. Hmm. That's why it's, that's not fair. You're not even fighting everybody to be saying that you that guy no more. When Hogan and them had the belt, they fought everybody on the roster. Roman and what? Seth Rollins only fought the people that was on their show. Mm -hmm. That don't count. Mm -hmm. You can't be you can't be listed as the best in the world if you're not fighting the best in the world. You only fighting these 75 people over here. It's a whole nother no, 75 uh, over here you don't even touch. No, busy. When Yo. Roman had the title, when, when Roman first had the title, before they um uh, created Seth, Seth's title, he was on he was, both. He shows. was fighting. At, he was yeah. He was fighting on both yeah. shows. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He was. He was. Yeah. I agree so with he you. can actually he can actually call himself that guy. That's what I'm saying. Because Seth was not defending on both shows. Yeah. He wasn't. He actually, wasn't actually. Yeah, yeah, he wasn't defending on both shows. He only he only went to NXT once and defended it. That was it. Yeah, Seth oh, Charles, I'm gonna keep real with you, bro. Like I I I have to agree with with with, with, with Swoop over here. I, I kind of like do feel like low key some of his challenges were a bit mid. Like they Ooh, like, yeah. they were a bit mid. They were a bit mid. Like as far Ooh. as like challenge for the world title for Seth Rollins the world title at, at least. Whose was more mid? His or Cody Rhodes run right now? Cody, <laughs> Cody, come on, man, bro. Cody, Cody. Here? Cody Rose don't fight nobody, bro. Nobody. Come on, bro. Like, salute to hey. him when he beat when he beat hey. us, Seth Rollins in the steel cage, but that wasn't hey. for no belt. That wasn't for no belt, like, right, bro. Hey, get him He's telling the truth. Cody, Cody is most definitely uh, he's the worst. Here. Defender <laughs> Cody Rhodes is the he, he was I doing all that talking, him. but he is only a pay per view defender. That's it, bro. That's it, bro. For real, 
for my can man. I can't nah, I can't rock with Cody, bro. Well, look, <laughs> what was voice. the last time Cody Cody defended his, his champion at, at Bash in Berlin? Yeah, against uh, uh Kevin. Kevin Kevin Owens. Yeah. Yeah. And the time before the time before that, SummerSlam. <laughs> light, light, <laughs> solo when Roman came back. Like, come on now. So he get the fight. He never did nothing. Man, bro, he, de- he defended it. He defended his championship on, on TV once. I'm just waiting for him and Randy Orton wrestle. That's all. That's he all. Talk, he talk. He talk, man. He. Bro, I, I hate to he say. We all it. talk at this point. I hate to say it, bro, but I, I. I hate to say it for all the Cody fans. Cody don't even I, I, wrestle on, on Cody, TV. The no Cody, all the Cody cry babies. <laughs> for all y'all Cody cry babies, I'm so sorry. But I, I hate to say it, but I got to keep it real, bro. I was more interested in Stardust than this Cody Rose that I'm watching right now. Hey. This Cody Rose is terrible, bro. A hot take. It's a hot take. This Cody Rose is no good, bro. He won. The, uh, I hate. I hate putting him down. I hope he don't see the. Po- I, actually, I hope he do see it. Where he can mention what we doing. But bro, oh you God. only won the championship because your dad never won that joint, bro. You did not win. Come on. Bro. That's exactly what it came to. Bro. Come on, bro. You did not own that, bro. You you beat Brock Lesnar. That's cool. That's what's up. But Roman Reigns beat him too. So get out of here with that. Everybody beat him. Now. He's beatable. Brock Lesnar is beatable now. Roman beat him when he was a machine. You beat him when Brock Lesnar was light. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> bug it. You bug it. Bro. Anyway, go ahead, Josiah. I, 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 I can go on for days. Didn't earn it. Bro. I can go on for days. You didn't earn it. So, are you? He ain't earned nothing, bro. I, I'd rather see gold dust than Cody. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who asked the question last? Who asked the question last? I don't know. I don't know. I ain't asking no one. I ain't asking no one. Oh no! You asked a question about, about the world championships. And, and oh yeah, then I asked, I asked, I asked about the title. Yeah, so it's your turn. So the, the question that they, that you just posed, just say that, and I'll, I'll, I'll answer that um for the next one. But go ahead and give right. let's go ahead and yeah. swoop, uh, his, his floor. All right. Oh. Uh, okay. This is this is back to the bloodline. All okay. right. I want to see the way I want to see Roman. And Jay getting back cool, okay, is basically what you said, Josiah, having Jay Fuel with the Wyatts. <coughs> Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I said that before. My theory. Jay and Jay Uso keeps getting attacked by the Wyatts. He has no backup. Sami Zayn is is already taken out by, by Gunther. Right. So Jay has no backup. Because Damien Priest has to deal with, deal with his problems with, with the Judgment Day, so it's, Jay's just on his own. Wait, so the Wyatt and, is going after Jay Uso? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that. I mean, they haven't got a chance to because every time they appear, Jay Uso get up through. Oh, yeah, he'd be dipping. Because he he <laughs> say something like, oh. Um, yeah, he'd be say, he'd be out say, of here. He'd say, the, oh. <laughs> He said the the wires are in the building, and I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> Yo, he said, and I see the wire. Said, I see the wires be hey, going after the, hey. they be going after the people for the family stuff. Yeah, so I yes. yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Hey, hey, yeah. hey! It'd be funny because he he'd be like, "A yeet, I'm out." <laughs> yeah, I'm out of there. Smart man. He's smart a smart man. guy. Complete smart guy. He said, "He said you you know um we go yeet and dip, yeet and dip." He's a smart. He's a smart guy. <laughs> More guy. So it's like they catch him in the ring. Like Jay Uso, Jay Uso's trying to challenge Braun Breaker again. Then out of nowhere, the Wire Six music come on, and they surround the ring, and they jump Jay. And, they and the only person he can family. rely on, yeah, for the family stuff. Roman. Yeah, the Rom- since Roman is a, is a free agent, he can come over there. Jay Uso is a free agent too. Jimmy, Jimmy is too. No, Jimmy's, J- Jimmy is signed. To, is is drafted to SmackDown. Oh, he is. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was he was drafted with Solo. Oh yeah, he was. Yeah, you're right. So if he come back, he gotta go to SmackDown. So what's the question? But Roman's not, but Roman's not drafted. Yeah. So what's the question? 
So, um, would you rather see Roman go go over there and help help Jay and get them back home that way, or another way? Mm. If Jay Uso get jumped, Roman Reigns has no choice but to help him. He has no choice. Yeah. As soon as the YSIS come out, they're chanting Roman. Roman. Oh, yeah. Roman. That's that's happening right out the gate. But I just haven't seen the Y six go after any baby faces yet. So I don't know yeah, if that's what and, and the is baby faces, not necessary heels, too. That's, that's another thing. That's what I'm saying. We don't know what they yeah. are. Yeah. They just putting in work. Exactly. Uh that's that's because they just they, they did just they did just come. And the only person that that, that has family issues it, that they that they can get to is Chad Gable right now. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think they don't get they can get past Chad Gable though, for real, for real, quiet cap. So yeah, yeah. Right. That's that blood. That's that bad blood. Is that a bad? Uh, blood? They might have a match. I'm not sure. I think it's four on four. Black blood. No, that was just weak. That was a street fight. I don't know if they got a match or not. You right? I don't know. Yeah. Mm hmm. I I'm gonna say I I would. That's a, this this is a good question because I I want to say Roman so bad, but going back to how I also have told because the reason why I was asking this question is because I I've, I've given out a theory about. How you get Jagos back to the bloodline? How you get him back into the fold of what's going on with the bloodline civil war happening on SmackDown, right? And I was saying, mm -hmm. like, what the Y says was, was to attack Jay Uso, and Jay Uso was asking himself, why are they hitting me? Why are they attacking me? What what is their problem? And basically yeah, yeah. to toughen Jay Uso up, and then uh one that he has a, a, one segment happens with him and Uncle Howdy, where he tells Uncle Howdy tells him a, a segment basically like you need to get back with your family. You know there's a, there's a war coming. It's bloodshed. You know, boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? And you're not doing what you're what you're doing because you want to be stubborn and you want to be selfish by doing what's, what's more so for you instead of the, of the bloodline. You know what I'm saying? Yo, you know, woman, woman needs help. Your brothers need help. Your brother got attacked. You know what I'm saying? And you said you want to stay here on Raw, try and pursue what you try and pursue. We need you over there. Right. And before everybody goes... Well, you can't do it. It's the brand split. It's the brand split. There are there's been there's been times where WWE has made exceptions by having people come on to the brand split, right? Rain or was one of the recent examples. He was one of the recent examples of coming on to Raw, knowing he was SmackDown, but he had a great example because he had to come not a great example, he had a great uh uh response for why he had to come at Gunther for his for his world title, basically. That's true. Mm -hmm. So that's my biggest thing. So if you can, you can always make it make sense. Plus, Roman is undrafted. Ain't like he can't go nowhere else. So if I had to go about it another way, I would say the Wyatt six forces Jay Uso to do that brand swap thing again, and Jay Uso goes back to, back to SmackDown to be with Roman. And them. That's how I would do it. Okay. Now, it'd be interesting to have Jay, Jay and, um, and Roman fight fight the Wyatt six. Well, is anybody gonna stop the wire six? It would be Roman. Yeah, this would be Roman for sure. Roman is a machine, bro. He is. We used to think Brock Lesnar. We used to think Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman was machines, and all of a sudden they turned into Roman Reigns being a oh machine. Oh my god, that's insane. Roman got he got hardened through through, through all of them the matches he he done put with Brock and hardened him, bro. And hardened him. Hey, he came when back. Roman, he hey, 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 busy. When woman, when woman finally speaks and he has a, has a um a segment with, with um Solo, well, he, he can easily tell Solo like like Solo, you were my last choice. I I really yeah. wanted wanted Jay. Yeah, you was the last choice. You was the last pick. Yeah, because Jay left. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah, that hurt. That hey hey that hurt him. Yep. Yeah. Is, like, oh, oh, so, you, so you saying saying that Jay's better than me, basically? 
Mm. Mm. Which is I like true. It. I like it. Beasy, you got an uh, uh, answer to that, or what's up? No, that's it. I'm good. All right. So I was going to say, man, my next question was going to be, if I or one of us was a pro wrestler, does promo skills matter more over wrestling ability? Promo skills. Yep. Because yep. if you can't, if you can't, if you can't sell yourself on that mic, there you go. What, what are you there for? Yeah, why are you there? There you go. There you go. There you go. I agree. Wow. And I, 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 this is kind of funny because I figured BZ would have been like more like, because you seem like, when I, when I told you, BZ, you, you sound like you, you, you appreciate wrestling really more so than, than all the talking. I mean, I do, because when I'll be watching wrestling pay-per-views, I'll be watching it on mute for I can watch what they actually doing. But as far as, like, storylines that actually get to that, you got to mm. talk. They got to talk. Yeah. So to, when I see the match, I'm muted. But to get to that point, I got to hear you talk. Yes. I got to hear you talk. Yeah. I got I to know the I got to know the reason why you feuding with him. What's the reason why you don't like him? Yeah, I got to know that. Okay. Yeah. BZ, what was the question you had asked uh, previously? Do you remember the question you had asked previously? <laughs> like, I don't know, remember. Mm -mm. Except for the one about the belt. Nah, before, like after the belt. And I said, I'll, I'll get back to you about it. Mm. I don't remember. I don't remember. Dang, I don't remember. <laughs> I'm just so fresh, so fresh, so clean, clean. Let me start. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, let me see. You got any other questions there? No, you got them. Oh, we can stop. Right, we already an hour in. Go ahead, Swoop. I got uh, about more. I, I mean, haven't got to where asking more of my questions. But all right, I, I can ask another one. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. Um, I said. I said. What do you, What do you think about one thing? All All these Bullet Clubs mem members on the uh, roster after Cody Cody loses his championship. What do you think about having them having them um have a, a Bullet Club reunion where you got one faction versus the other? Hmm. Mm. Hmm. If this happens, Cody needs to turn heel. Because <laughs> you can have Cody. It's not. It's not Bayface stable. Because you can have Cody, AJ. Definitely not a baby face. Finn, at all. And the um, and the Good Brothers versus the Tongan Brothers. Hmm. Anything with that bloodline, they're gonna lose. Yeah. But that would be a good one. That would be a that would be a good one though. You got you got AJ, you got Finn, you got I mean that'll be a good one. Nice little matches they put together. But the res end result is clear. WWE better not ever let the ever let the bloodline people lose, ever. Yes, yeah, sir. It's crazy. I, I like the, 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 the bloodline versus versus the bullet club or the bullet club versus like you can easily start a new faction with with, with the remaining bullet club members. Yeah, with the, the bullet club beating the bloodline though. Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Know. That's a good question. The bullet club ain't beat no bloodline, bro. Pick I mean, they said there, there's some stack guys from the Bullet Club. Pick five um, people from the Bullet Club. Let me see. Ooh. AJ Styles couldn't even beat Cody. Come on, bro. <laughs> uh, I will say, adding Jay White. Technically, the Tongans who are part of Bloodline, they're they're a part of Blue Bullet Club. So they, can, they, can, they can go in, leave me and join the bloodline. I'm um, enjoying the, uh, the club for real, for real. All right, Scott. so you have Jay. I will have the club. Give me Jay White. He's great. He's fantastic. Um, let me see. 
give me. Ooh, this is a, this is a tough one for real. This is was JD McDonough Mad- part of it? No, nah, JD McDonough was not part of Blood Club. Nope. Um, okay. Let me see. Finn Bauer was. Finn yeah. Bauer was. Yeah, if you want, to have, I mean, that's another thing about Finn Bauer. I don't know. With Judgment Day, uh, I don't know about that. Um, I don't. I don't. This is tough. I don't know. I, those are the guys I can name for, for right about now. Just for right now. But I'm gonna ask my last person question, and then I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the other topics. But then that's it for me. Then, um, uh, then you also then there's also um AJ. We could say AJ, but because he lost to Cody. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he had a good point there, though. I'm sorry, like, yo, you got like, come on, bro. You lost to Cody, bro. You can't do nothing to no impact match. <laughs> Like, come on, bro. Yeah, you was like, bro, I bro. quit. I quit. I quit. You sucker. Get out of here. So Cody Rose, bro. Get out of here. You whack, AJ. You came back big for no reason for you to be whack like that. How you going to come back big to lose to Cody Rose? Get out of here. <laughs> Get him out of here, bro. I'm sick of I'm sick of AJ, bro. I'm sick of AJ, bro. <laughs> sick of AJ, bro. They got it because they push. They either pushing him wrong or AJ then I fell off. I, I get you, bro. I get it. I love eighty two, but yeah, bro. Like, come on. They either pushing him wrong or they or he then fell off. One of the two, bro. <laughs> like, come on, bro. You losing to Cody Rose. Cody Rose got you saying I quit, bro. You whack, <laughs> straight up. Well, to be fair, he his 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 arms were tied up against the uh, what is his arms tied up against the, the Tumbergo and then and then Cody was mm-hmm. him with the, uh, going out like a he's going out like a sucker. Yeah, hey, I remember. Yeah, still stuff. He said going out like like a sucker. I'm weak. That's uh, his he's going out like a sucker, bro. That's, that's funny, hey, man. What wrestler has the best submission uh hole finisher? Of all time? You can say of all time right now, don't matter to me. Roman. Who? Roman. The guillotine choke? Okay. Hold on. Of it's all like, time. It's, Roman it's, it's, of all it's, time? It's, it's, it's between Roman and, and um and Brock. Of or John. Time? Are we talking about present day of all time? Out of those three, is Roman, Brock, and, and John. John what? Oh, are we talking about the best finisher or the best submission? Submission for whole Submission whole finishers. Actually, actually, actually I got to put a fourth in there on um, CM Punk. No, ain't kind of vice. What's out of those four? Of all of all time, I don't know, bro. Mm, I don't know, I don't know about, about that. that. I don't know about all that. That Undertaker finisher joint was crazy, and I don't even got that up there. That was the uh, what was the what was it? That was called the uh, called the Vice Grip. No, that's not the Vice Grip. That's, that's that was a great colleague move. He had the uh, the I forget what. The, yeah, I know you're talking about. BD, I forget what it's called though. When he when he will lock your when we lock your arm in. Yeah, with, with, with his legs. Yep. And he put he put he put it. It, in was, the, it was wasn't it like the the something chamber or something like that. It was something he called it. Yeah. I know you're talking about too. Can we say sharpshooter? Oh yeah, of course. Sharpshooter guy has has the guy be by, by far the best man. All right, dad. The best, though. I don't. I, I want. He, he well. It's up to debate for sure with that one. Absolutely. It's uh, definitely up to debate. You got the crossface. Yes, God. It's, it's Bob Backlund's cross face. It's Bob Backlund's cross face. I almost forgot about Chris Jericho's. The Walt Jericho? Yeah. Huh. Oh, that's light. Like, that's light. Like. <laughs> that's light. Like uh, like but that's light. Like. I get it. I get what it. about the figure four leg lock? Rick Flair style. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got to put that up here. You got to put, you gotta put the figure. You got to put the fit. Well, if you, but if you put that up there, you, if, which one is better, his or Charlotte's? That, that's not fair because you know Charlotte's. Like, uh, first of all, she's taller than Ric Flair. Hey, he was there tall. 
Hey, and he, was as, he was as athletic as, her, as she was. So what she, hey, she hey, was hey. was like crazy. A move she is a move, me. bro. Huh? A move is a move, bro. I know, I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just pointing out the reasons why it, 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 she completely outweighs them for the most part. So obviously, obviously, Charles Flair, yes. I figure, that figure eight. It's, it's, it's crazy. Absolutely agree. I don't know. I think I'm. I think my favorite. I got to go with Bob Backlund, bro. That crossface chicken wing was something crazy. Crippler crossface by Chris Benoit. That was crazy. I forgot that about that. Cool. Yep, the crippler crossface. That crippler crossface was something crazy. I can do it. I can do that move. I can. I can do the guess what. I, I was watching a lot that, of wrestlers do cool transmission. That, that, that crippler crossface was something to see. That yep. was right about that. Koji Clutch. I know I know so many different submission holes. It, it, I would be here all day. No, I'm, I'm not even a wrestler. <laughs> you said the Cody Clutch. No, the Koji Clutch. It's, it's a uh, Japanese uh, submission uh, kind of like move. Oh, okay. Where you know, like, I, I push you across, and I'm like, I put my legs around. I, 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 I have to sh- you have to look up on YouTube to, to find that out, but that was, that was actually one of my favorite submissions. Because uh, it, it just looks cool. Let me see. What's up, uh, BG? Got any other questions? I'm gonna move on past from wrestling right by now. No, I ain't got no other questions. What about you, Swoop? Um, questions. Um, I'm about to move past wrestling. Part reason because I haven't asked my all my other uh, questions. That I know it's been 15, but we've been talking so much, so, so it's kind of like I haven't been able to like get across answering all the questions for real. So I got about. Let me see. I don't have any more questions. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two. I got about ten more questions. It's crazy. Yeah, I don't got no more questions. Either. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go right here and take this and take this and lead away. So you guys just answer have the best way y'all can, bro. Um, are rat beefs needed, or should we move past them as fans? Or what? Uh, rat beefs. Rat beefs. They need it. They need it. Yeah, that's that's real hip hop. They need that. Yeah, and and, and it's like what Ice Ice Cube said in the in the interview. All that, all the other stuff that you see, like people dying and stuff like that, and taking it too far. Mm-hmm. He said that's that's street beef. That's not that's not rap beef. That makes sense. That's not. Yeah. Because yeah. how else do you compete with your peers? Yeah. This is very true, bro. This is very true. And, and it's part of the sport. Yep, I agree. Just, just for we, we, we know by way fun, uh, not for fun fact, but like side note here. Part reason why I want to keep on asking these questions because I, I know I'm a rile up BC with some of these questions. I'm gonna ask a little, a little bit later, and then and, YouTube and you too, <laughs> and you too bro. So we get ready, but mm-hmm. uh, yeah, I, I to answer y'all question, I think rabbits are needed. I, I, I find I find them be very fun, entertaining, as we saw with Kendrick and Drake earlier this year. Awesome rap beef, rap, their, their songs both were fantastic. Uh, we know who won at the end of the day, but we also know Drake gave himself. Drake, Drake, Reed, you know, did his thing too. He held, he held his own. So I got it. So let's Drake. Drake did not <laughs> hold his own. Watch your mouth. Huh? Why? Drake did not hold his own. Watch your mouth. He got smoked. We didn't say hey, he held his own on the, uh, the live with, 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 with Rail. Hey. He got he smoked. You know, know, Rail, Rail, Rail was rooting for Drake. He got smoked. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm, I'm saying he has some lines too, though. Hey, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Drake really gave him that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he what? Drake really gave him that. If he, if he really wanted to diss him, and 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 really end Kendrick, he he would have. Drake was giving some nice stuff. We we I all know, know that Drake can come hard. Bro. I don't buy any Kendrick. Drake could come man, way hard. He ain't doing that with. He ain't doing that with no Kendrick, bro. Come on, man. Man, Drake could come way harder than when he was coming, especially yeah, that's true. Especially but, but if we, see, if we the talk, problem, talking about 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 Drake when, when he was going his meat meal, 
No, nah, see, the problem is Drake's writers wasn't with him during the time. So that's why he was here. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. <laughs> he was up because if I'm not mistaken, wasn't Drake on tour oh. when Kendrick was getting him? He I, was, I, I, I give I give Drake credit on um on some of them songs because he was writing them on the tour bus while he was on tour. Mm. So that's different. Like Kendrick had time. He had no concerts. He had time. Drake ain't had no time. And he was responding yeah. while he was recording, <laughs> while he was doing performance. So that's different. He still lost though. Kendrick had him back to back too, though. He still lost though. Kendrick came at came at Drake back to back, bro. <laughs> he said, "I'm gonna drop four or five. Just this is on you in the same dang on week." Like, <laughs> come on, like you ain't had to do that for a whole He's entire week. <laughs> Crazy. He still lost though. Crazy. Yeah, I agree. He definitely still lost for sure. Bad body Absolutely. Absolutely. He got smoke. <laughs> Drake got smoke. Oh my God. And, Why and it's worse. Him? And it's worse because now the boy Kendrick is doing the Super Bowl. That's even worse. So if anybody uh, in the he crowd, he said no in the crowd is doing day now, if they end up if they end up doing that day now like that song, this battle is dead. Oh. Oh. If they do the, if they do they not dust at the halftime show, bro, that man could consider his career over. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> bro, that bro, you can't come on, man. And that ain't even cool for Jay Z to pick. Man, that's messed up. That's I messed up. That is messed up, bro. <laughs> that is messed up. And Kendrick said no round twos on top of that. Susan, no round twos, bro. No round oh, twos. Bro. You no lost. Round two. No round twos. That's crazy. Why is the I film? Kendrick, I Kendrick just put on another disc. He did. Yeah, he did. He came out with that. What the uh, we we could what's it called? We can party. Let the party die. Something like that. Yeah. But he said they said they said that one wasn't about Drake though. Nah, I don't think it was at all. But he did shout out with Cray and D One. I thought that was fire. Um, yeah, uh, him and D One know each other personally. Yes, sir. From, from that way right back. Ray, when he no, said Lecrae, he knows Lecrae. He knows, he knows Lecrae person. He don't know D1. Yeah, right when he said yeah, Lecrae joint, bro, it's a wrap. Him and um, I know, right? Him and yes, D1 got a picture of each other from 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 back when uh before Kendrick grew his um uh, dreads out. No, what I'm saying is Kendrick, Kendrick and, Le, and Lecrae have established that. I didn't, I didn't know about D1 and, 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 and uh Kendrick like that. Yeah. Mm-mm. Why is who, the film industry so bad? Huh? You said what? Who is, this, who is this D1 character? D1 character is crazy. You don't know I who D1 is? No, I ain't hit to him, bro. Shout out to D1. He's a real one. Uh, D1, he's a rapper from from from, uh, from Louisiana. Um, he got. Oh, uh, you talking about you talking about that light? You talking about that light skin dude with the dreads? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. He's supposed to be he dope, bro. Noise. He made some noise last year. He made some big noise last year, bro. He's supposed to be dope. I feel like he is, huh? yeah. Oh, shit. He's, he's supposed to be dope. Yeah, he cool. Mad okay. Yes, sir. Mad times, bro. I'll take y'all. Uh, y'all worry, check him out. Yes, sir. Why is the uh, film industry so adamant on including reboots from previous franchises? You think you guys think because they, they, they because their creative juices is done? Yeah, that's why I was. Yeah, I've been told this recently too. They don't have no cre. They uh, when when people same thing with rappers. When rappers want to just continue to keep rapping on other people old school beats, it's because you lazy. You ain't got nothing else to talk about. You ran out. <laughs> you ran out of rats. Like, bro, that's that's crazy. Why you want to keep talking about the same stuff? Like, get out of here. Mm. Crazy. Yeah. That's real. But I think it's I think it's worse for the movie. I think it's worse for the movie industry though. Because the movie industry, like, y'all supposed to be creative. And what y'all not being creative is crazy. Yes, sir. That's true. Yeah, that's that's why like um 50 cent show is better than than, than the movies. At all times, yep. Yeah, yeah, shout out to the shows, bro. BMF, the freaking... Because I ain't gonna lie to you. If 50 ever decided to 
you know, go ahead and start making his own movies, I guarantee you his movies would be better than, than what's coming out right now. You see, you see, 50 Cent then teamed up with Tyler Perry, so it's about to be a wrap. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he teamed up with Tyler Perry. I'm like, oh shoot, he got accent now. Yep. Yeah, I just think I think they're the two admin over them over Ruby. Because I, I get annoyed sometimes. I'm just like, bro, like, can we be creative nowadays? Like, y'all talk about like these classic movies, these classic this, this, and that third. But back in the day, y'all can't even be that nowadays. It's like y'all just this is lame. That's why to me, that's why you rarely even hear anybody say like in 2024. What was the best movie that came out here? And and you can and don't tell me it was like a freaking teenage mutant Ninja Turtle uh, movie or a dang on Power Rangers reboot. Like I don't want to even hear about that. I want to hear, okay, what this horror movie was great or was this uh you know um, action packed movie? You know what I'm saying? Just something you know what I'm saying that that I know. Yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. Or I mean, so far topic. so far this year, they only managed to put out. Like four good movies, mm. and that was that new Deadpool movie. Facts. That the Godzilla versus King Kong movie. Yes, uh, that Beetlejuice was good. I didn't say Beetlejuice. I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, that was good. Then that um, that new Transformers. Bob Marley. Bad Boys Four. Bob Marley too. Ain't seen I didn't see that. I, I, a lot of people say it wasn't good. No, nah, it was good. Don't, don't they ever saying that. They tripping. Mm. Uh, yeah, plus, the Man Webb movie was the worst movie. I, I will say Man Webb was definitely one of the worst movies for sure this year. Man Webb was definitely one of the worst movies. That movie was bad. So bad, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, you um, keep talking about that movie. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, bro, listen. It's... Just about everybody has said that, bro. If you watch it, bro, you you will see. Yeah, BZ, I know you. You're very, very honest, bro. If you watch that, I guarantee you within five to ten minutes, you're going to be like, all right, I'm turning this off. I'm, try I'm trying to tell you, bro. Or at least you, or you're going to criticize it, but you're going to try to figure out, okay, well, let me see if, if, it, if it gets better. If it gets better, you'll, you'll, you have to see for yourself, bro. <laughs> so um, if you could play a dream superhero as of this moment, will it be in the Marvel Universe or the DC Universe? DC. Oh. I'm going DC. Who's the character? I'm going DC. No, I know oh, the universe. Who's the character? You, you, who, like, you, yeah, if you're going DC, who, who, who's your character? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I go DC, and uh, I go Batman. Batman. Yeah. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? It's between Batman. Batman and Green Lantern. Green Lantern. <laughs> Biz, you got one? I like Green Lantern. Can you imagine can you imagine BD as Aquaman, bro? <laughs> Aquaman? Oh, boy. Yo, BZ, we have him having fans at the end of his feet. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> 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 Let me stop. Please. <laughs> the fire, I can see you as um, Kid Flash. I can be. <laughs> you said Josiah. Wally West? Kid Flash. Yeah, the black one. The back of the book. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hey. Yo, bro. That's funny. Oh, all right. Shut up, Larry. What uh what NFL team is winning the Super Bowl next year in 2025? Uh I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know because I don't get into that. Uh, I'm a, I'm a Bengals. You said oh. Bengals? Yep. Bengals. Bengals didn't win their first game. My hometown team. <laughs> They're not they winning no game. time soon. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Josiah, I'm from, I'm, I'm from here. That's fine. Go ahead, bro. And I am sorry to say, the Bengals, I don't see, see, see the Bengals winning a Super Bowl. They probably won't win a Super Bowl 
until we 50. Oh my God. <laughs> until we 50? That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't see the, I don't see the, see the Bengals winning the Super Bowl anytime soon. I'm, I'm sorry. I will say I this. Just don't. I, did, I did predict, I said within about 10 years or, or whatever time I said, I said the Bengals are going to go to the Super Bowl. And I, and, I, and I stood, you know, and I, 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 I stay on business by saying, my my prediction came out true, even though they didn't win. But you know, they got a little pack. Yeah, they can. But, they yeah. can go. They're good enough to go. But winning, no. Okay. I don't see. I don't see the Cincinnati Bengals winning anytime soon. All right. Cody but Rose, right now, Rose. five of their players are already injured. They just announced Cody Rose versus Seth uh, Bush Solo in the steel cage. Yeah, it's in a cell. Yeah, in a cell. BG got team. I'm going with the Eagles. Yep, he's from Philly. He makes a lot of sense. Nah, no, I ain't. I'm from Ohio. Yeah. No, he's from Ohio. I'm, I'm teasing you, BG. <laughs> I'm going I'm with Philly, Philly, or I'm going. I'm going with Philly, or I'm going with the Chiefs. That went all the time. I think you're going for the Browns, but then I but then I remember I think you and you ain't a fan of Browns like that, are you? I am a Browns fan. That's okay. my number one thing. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, but yeah, you. they they I don't I don't I don't see them going nowhere no time soon either. How can Bronny James lift up to the expectations of his father, LeBron James? He Next question. Next question. <laughs> Yeah, he can't. Next question. Next Y'all question. Don't to his dad. That's dead. So yeah, what else you got? Next question. All right. <laughs> you know, next question. They're like next question. That's, that's, that's disrespectful to LeBron. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah, you true. <laughs> uh, where do we see ourselves in the next twenty to twenty-five years? Oh, hopefully, with a lot of money chilling, with a successful co- company. Larry, Larry, how far me right now, bro? There we go. I respect that. How about you, B? Man, because I'm tired of working for people. I mean, that's right. I feel that. Well, bro, 20 years, I'm like, 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 I don't know. 20 years, I don't know. I'm going to be doing something. I'll be on TV, though. I know that. I'm going to accomplish everything I, 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 I done put my, my mind to. That's what I was supposed to do in 20 years, just being able to say I accomplished everything, and now I'm still, and I, and I, I have to manage it, basically. Everything. I mean, it's rap, music, uh, acting, podcasting, YouTube, all of that. I'm, I'm going to have it all. I ain't going to lie to you, Josiah. Doing the books, too. If you want if you wanna, if you want to rap, you got to start now. You have no choice. You got to start right now. Yeah, the game's going to change. Because... It's beyond hard right now. Like we gotta pay for studio time. You gotta know know how to put your music out. You gotta. It's so much stuff you gotta do. <clears throat> mm-hmm. So your best bet is to start now while you got while you still got time, and you're more younger to do it. Then you know, put it off to where you get to the point where. It's hard for you to you to get your numbers up. Yeah, because it's all about the numbers. It's true. It and your connections. Yep. Which topic is glorified? And you have to do a whole lot of networking. I agree. No, I know about the which all. topic is what. Yeah, which topic is glorified the most? Glor- uh, what? Glorified the most. Glorified the most. In other words, they, they talk about it all the time. Too much. Um, mental health or drug addiction. Or what? Drug addiction. Mental health. Yeah. Every commercial got something to do with some mental health. They always talking talk about somebody with drug with a drug problem. I mean, as a what happened recently with Richard McQuarrie, may rest in peace, bro. But I'm just saying, like, like dang. So I, I, I have to agree with you, Josiah. Um, 
on drug issues. I would say actually mental health from more so for me. On because yeah, what, 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 with the whole rich homie thing. Yeah, with the whole rich homie thing, his, his family failed him. His his brother they just came up with more details on it. His brother said he found them on the on the floor in the kitchen with food in his mouth. Mm. And instead of just deciding to see if he was still alive or if he was okay or trying to wake him up, he just picked him up and put him on a couch and put a cover on him and left him like that. Mm. Wow. After saying that that it was unusual to see him like that. Yeah, so that's, his his family failed, failed him. That's crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah, then his his girlfriend said that she she woke up and found him not in the bed and seen him on the uh, couch. And instead of trying to wake him up, and be like, why, why are you sleeping on the couch? She just left him and took, him, took the kids to school. Came back and mm -hmm. seen him still on the couch. Mm -hmm. And she said she just put a cover on him and went, went upstairs and went to sleep for a couple more hours. Mm -hmm. Then when she woke up, when it's like 11, like 11 in the morning, Whoa. Oh, you go. I know what happened. Mm -hmm. Is Mike muted or something? No. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna go around and ask my last three questions while he. Oh, yeah, he's out. Oh, my gosh. Well, here are my last three questions How often is our brain on autopilot? Shoot, I don't know. I don't even know. Yeah, me neither. Moving on. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> the next one we have is Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Kanye West for the President of the United States. <laughs> Kanye. All right, I'm, I'm back. I don't know what, what just happened, but that kicked me out. Oh, wow. So I asked the question. I said The Rock or Kanye West for... President of the United States. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to say Kanye. Can you hear me? Yo, can you hear me? Can you hear us? Yeah. Yes, sir. I can can you hear that. us? Okay. Yeah. Can you hear my question? Yeah. Uh, no. Dwayne The Rock Johnson or Kanye West for President of the United States? <laughs> did they ask him out or did he just leave? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I will be, bro. I will be. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I have tears in my eyes if, if, if my homie say I'm gonna leave because of that question. Did you leave because of that question, bro? That John keep kicking me out. Oh, I was about to huh? say, bro. I thought you, I thought you laughed because you, you, you don't like, like my question. No, it kicked me out. Okay. Did you hear my question? So you said the Wayne DeRock Johnson? Yep. Or Kanye West. I heard half of it. Or Kanye West for President of the United States. Finish bro. it, please. <laughs> You're not here. I just, I just, just said it, bro. I repeated it like four or five, six times. You bro. said the Wayne DeRock Johnson. Seven to my feet. This question, bro. Oh my Listen. god. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is Go funny. You said, oh. This is the only part that's being posted. You like said Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> All right, posted nothing Or Kanye this. West <laughs> for president. This is yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Neither. Oh Neither. my gosh, that's a good question. Kanye, Kanye needs need help. He, 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 he needs help. Oh my god! That's and the god. the Rock knows how to manage manage sports. He doesn't know nothing about politicians. 
Why would I want the Rock as the president? Let him, let him, leave him in his room. They made him president in the show Young Rock. They did. Man, leave it, leave it fictional. I don't want the future. That's hilarious. I like the Rock, but I don't, I don't see, I don't see him, see him being no president. Could you imagine that though? Like he went from like one of the popular WWE stars to becoming president. That would be crazy. Like yeah. to own WWE and then becoming president. Like yo, like he, 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 I'm sorry. He uh, if if he was able to do that, he's he's undeniable. I'm I'm sorry, undeniably, you got me to go for, for that. No, you no, no. I'm talking about in, in, in everything, in everything. I'm not saying just just an out, but besides wrestling, that's crazy. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Here's my last final question. Oh, by the way, I would say Kanye West. Reason being, Kanye's entertaining. I would, I, just, I would just like to hear what Kanye West has to say. I know it's not going to be politically correct. I don't care. I just want to see Kanye West just, just be funny. Like I want, I, I want to hear, I want to see him do, do the debates. Have him and Trump debate. <laughs> have him and Kamala Harris. If Biden was come back, have him debate with Biden. I just want to see what Kanye West would just would just say. And to me, it, it, would, it would just be so dang on funny. I'm sorry, it just it would just make my day. Like heck, with it. it is what it is. What can you do? Kanye West would, 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 would just be so funny. For me. I wouldn't take it seriously. I I, I, don't, I wouldn't care because not because quite frankly, nobody takes our country seriously as it, as it is really for real. So who cares? So, anyways, last question. <laughs> Are having problems always a bad thing? No, because it's it, it it depends on what what caused that problem. Okay. Because a problem can be can be both can be one sided. Uh, you might not have that problem. But somebody might have might have a problem with you. Okay. Got deep right quick. Yep. So that's how I put it. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um Yeah, I agree with what he said. For sure. Hmm. Hey, I don't think it, uh I think it's learning experiences, and if you don't go through them learning experiences, you ain't gonna be able to make it through life for real. You definitely gotta yeah. fail all the time. Like, there's no successful person that didn't fail. Come on, talk about yeah. it. Yeah, that's real. That's super Hold on, real. Cody. Hey. No. So Cody is fighting. Hey. Cody one time for the one time uh, for my boy Jay tonight. Can I get a? Can I get a yeet? <laughs> Watch out, man. <laughs> no yeet. No yeet. I'm Jimmy Uso over here. No yeet. Yeet. No yeet. 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 You mean Jimmy? Yeah, what's that? Yeah, you mean Jimmy. You said Jay. You know what I'm saying, hey. Jimmy. They, they said, said, hey, I ain't gonna lie. That was yeah, the point when, when Jimmy said it, 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 it to Jay. I'm sorry, man. You know that was corny. How you got in his? How, he got in his ear. Said no. When he when he backed up, he said no. He, he. no ye. He was like, "Yo, he said, where he got that ye from? Asking where he got it from." Right, James was denying event ye. I don't know why people. Mm -hmm. was what come, what what channel did SmackDown come on now? Ye. That's a good question. Cause they they they, they came off of Fox, right? Yeah, they on USA or Raw or, or I think it's USA. I think it's USA. They on TNT. Oh, it do come on tonight. I'm missing it right. It do come on tonight, and it's about to be three hours. Yeah, because because uh, Cody and what you call it is doing the uh, cage match tonight, and Roman coming back tonight. Wait a minute, man, that's three hours. Yeah, tonight. Uh, okay. Shut up. Yeah, they the they they the stopped two hours. They they. they, they it's about to be the first time in history that it's three hours. 
I'm out to All find right. it. I'm out. I'm out. Did you know they was doing it for Rob before? I got they got no choice before. but to do it for SmackDown because you know SmackDown got got, got the bloodline and stuff. It's a lot more sense for SmackDown. It's a whole lot more sense for SmackDown now. What channel is it on though? Good question. I don't know. Let me see. I don't know. So I'll catch you guys next time. I'm about to All get right. to, I'm I'm about to go watch SmackDown. All so right. yeet. And it changes, it changes the, the overall over. All right, homie. Yeet. <laughs> oh, it's the cage match right now. Cody versus Seth right now. I mean Cody versus Solo right now. They got theme song and a new logo and Megan Stein is, is on a theme song for SmackDown. Like, what? All right. Man. All right, BZ. Oh, Cody just hit him with a crazy joint. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me get him out of here. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah, ghost. Ghost.